Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, Happy New Year. Now, first of all, I was a little bit sort of apprehensive if I was even going to mention the new year on my channel. But do you know what? We have to hold on to positivity. We have to hold on that what we're all going through in this world, not just the UK, of course, America, Australia, wherever we find ourselves in this world, we are all having our lives forcefully changed through the COVID virus, this awful pandemic, which just seems to keep giving and giving almost like this, this smack in the face each time when we just and just think we're going to get somewhere, it knocks us all back down again, not just us, the whole of society. <sighs> New Year, so it's 2021. Finally, we get to put 2020 behind us. I think for the first couple of months, it's still going to be really quite difficult here in the UK anyway, as our measures are ever increasing um, for our safety, of course, which we must all follow. Um, it's not easy. Of course, it's easy for me to say because all of my family are safe and well, thank goodness. But do you know what? I had a glimmer of of what, and I don't want to take this away from anybody, how horrific this whole pandemic is. But anybody who finds out that their loved one has got the virus, literally, I went through that that sort of couple of minutes, and so did my mum as a family, we did, through this this sort of that that dread that, oh my goodness, and almost like that feeling of your heart stops. Um, and it was actually, this today was my first day back at work. I've been particularly very, very busy. Um, and everybody wishing everyone a happy new year. And of course, everybody's thoughts in the back of their mind is that we all hope that it's going to be a good year. And we all hope we're going to be able to put this um, to bed and long, long away in our memories, um, never to be seen again. But of course, it keeps rising to the top. And this afternoon, I received a call. And that call was to let us know that my nan, which is my mum's mum, um, has a particularly very bad chest and lots of coughing. And straight away I thought to myself, okay, so my nan's got all the symptoms of this virus. Now she's 94, this, uh, not that long away actually, she'll be 95. Um, absolutely <laughs> a figure in my family's life where almost like a, a, a relic, to be quite honest with you. You can't imagine life without my nan, to be quite honest with you. Um, and just seeing the fear on my mum's face, because it's her mum, instantly when we received that call. But do you know what? I, I felt what people must go through in that in that sort of short time frame. Thankfully, thankfully, after doing a test, uh, my, it's, it's now confirmed that my nan does not have COVID. Thank goodness. Thank the Lord. Um, thank goodness that she doesn't. Um, but as with all of us, the risk is just, it's just incredible, isn't it? It's any one of us, whether we're young, whether we're older, whether you're, you're generally unwell or whether you're well, we have heard so many people lose their lives and so many people lose loved ones. And you know what? I just cannot imagine, cannot imagine. I mean, even just finding out that somebody in my family had this virus, my nan, I was just absolutely distraught. So, yes, thank goodness she doesn't have that. She's still particularly unwell at the moment with a chest infection, and it seems to happen in, in January, um, which is always quite strange. But thankfully, she enjoyed a lovely Christmas. So that's a little bit of comfort to me. But I just hope, and I pray, and I hope to God that she gets through this and she's and she's well, of course, because of the age element as well. So that really started things off in our family for the new year. So there's me saying Happy New Year, and this is happening. So I think at the moment, I think rather than us all just blocking out positivity and not saying Happy New Year, I think that we should all we should all strive to think that, you know, what, this is going to be over right now. We have to put up with what's going on in our lives, but there will be an end. There will be a day that we can talk about the COVID virus as a memory. Um, and hopefully that will be soon. Hopefully that will be soon. But I just wanted to share with you because literally, I just wanted to share that with you because you it's, it's easy sometimes, isn't it, to sit on YouTube and think that actually all these people don't really live, they don't really live lives, they don't really have those worries, those concerns, those stresses that which what we all do. And, and I'm not fake and I, and I don't put on an act or anything like that at all. I am who I am. Um, and I am soft hearted and I worry about everything. And 
and everyone to be quite honest with you and what people think and and the list goes on so this is like a snowball effect so i thought you know what? i will put that on my channel um we're all going through something aren't we and i'm still unfortunately still struggling with health problems in one thing and another but i'm determined this year is going to be positive as well so i think let's let's park all of that with covid because that's just that's horrific isn't it it's just extreme ex horrible absolutely just horrible who wants to talk about it but we're forced to aren't we every time you put the tv on we're forced to so let's leave that for a moment you'll notice there's a few decorations and things behind me i've chosen not to take christmas decorations down yet <laughs> the longer the better um christmas was amazing in my family it was absolutely fantastic and yes here in the uk right at the last minute our government stripped us of what we could do at christmas but thankfully um certain family members are in our sort of bubble as we're called here in the uk um to stay safe so that was amazing so we had a real magical christmas and that was that was brilliant and i hope that everybody who's watching this i hope you really did too and i hope you and your family are safe my very best wishes for 2021 so what do i want out of 2021 well i've already told myself this it's going to be studying learning career development so a few things about the channel coming up. So I hope to cover some different uh, some different areas on my channel. I'm not going to necessarily give them away. Yes, it will include hair, but um, one of the things which I will be stopping, we're going to be losing the blonde. I'm not going to be dying. I'm not going to be getting rid of it straight off, but I'm not going to be having it highlighted anymore. So that's one thing we're going to be losing. Why? Just because of the sheer cost of how much it costs to keep on top of it. Um, and the products are expensive to keep on top of the condition and to keep on top of the white sort of blonde colour. So we're going to be losing that completely. In the summer, we may, we may well even go super, super cropped short. That's growing up the style I used to have. And I, and I fancy going back being a little bit more easier this year i want to really throw myself into my work and my career um who if anybody doesn't know what i do so i work in finance and accountancy and i'm on the path to becoming a chartered accountant but however i'm up against a bit of a wall at the moment with the the cost element of the next sort of next sort of step in my career is very expensive i'm not necessarily sure whether or not i want to do that um and i may even want to sort of swerve my career uh, where i want to go um I'm in an accountancy role now, which I very, very much enjoy. I left retail banking um, just over a year ago now. Um, I love the role I'm in. Uh, but there is an element of finance and accountancy where this is this whole sort of situation of the of the pandemic has kind of woken me up to think that actually I love charity. I love doing good for people. Um, the best feeling in the world was giving all my Christmas donations to my charities, my chosen charities. Uh, so, for example, the Alzheimer's Research Charity and the Salvation Army. Um, and I just love that. I think I get that from my nan. She absolutely loves charity, um, giving to charity. And I love doing that. I, and I've volunteered for... Um, at a, at a ball, uh, raising money for charity. Uh, here's Simon School in a bag. And um, St. Margaret's Hospice here in the UK, I've also raised money for that as well. Um, so that's that's something really close and dear to my heart. So when I'm doing accountancy and I think to myself, OK, helping businesses thrive for profit is is what I wanted to do. And I wanted to help business thrive and in and grow and develop and change. But then when I actually look at the bigger picture, I'm not offering anything back to society or helping people. I'm helping business. And it all comes back to money, doesn't it? And so I'm really sort of stuck at the moment of, yes, I want to be an accountant and I can call myself an accountant now. Um, I'm not chartered, but I love it. But I'm, I'm wanting more. I'm wanting that sort of that personal element. I think that connection. Um, so, yeah, we will see what happens there. But for me, I will be pushing forward in my accountancy studies. That's going to be something coming up this year as well. I'm going to be doing all sorts of different training courses as well. Yes, I am 27, but I've never stopped learning from right when I left school. Um, having hearing problems and things, uh, a normal conventional college um, and a university setting was quite difficult for me, to be honest with you. With my hearing problems, my balance problems at the time was something called Meniere's disease, which very often throws things back at me as well and makes life generally quite difficult. But it has only wanted to make me stronger so i've done all sorts of learning and, and training courses and things just as equivalent um as to going to university um but i do it as a distant learning approach and it's absolutely fantastic so anybody who is looking or thinking of doing that this year um make it your thing to do it's absolutely incredible yes it is costly yes it is expensive but if you if you break it down or for a, a monthly thing for example then you can change 
your world and the life you're living. And it can become this amazing, beautiful life, which we all so deserve. Now, a saying which I always say to a lot of people, and it is by goodness, so, so true, is none of us are promised tomorrow. So one of my things or what I love to do is just taking the time to try and switch off because I am a huge worrier. I worry about everything. And um, you'll know that if you've watched my channel. But what I, my, I, I hate people who do, I don't hate people at all. I hate it when people make New Year's resolutions because five minutes and they're broken. You do not need one day in a year to change your life. You can change it whenever, whether you're nine or whether you're 109. You can change your life for the better. You can change your life for the better in terms of stress, worry, finance, financial gain, um, in terms of saving money, in terms of personal growth, um, development, that type of thing. You can change. We all can. So for me, just a small change, because of course I'm gonna, I've already said I'm working at my career this year. Uh, my last year was full of health problems. This year, unfortunately, it's going to be, it's going to have another operation, I imagine, because of the problems I'm having with my groin and what have you. But I'm not gonna, I'm very, I feel very strong that my health problems do not define me at all. I define me. And that for me is my education, is my training, is my finance role, my accountancy career, my, my love of charity, my love of family. So for me, one thing I absolutely love and I love doing over the Christmas holidays was just taking time with loved ones, with family, sitting down watching a film. Loved it. Haven't done it for months and months and months. Properly. When was you last properly engaged with a family member laughing just so naturally at something as a film? Quality family time. So for me, that's something I'm going to work on this year. I need to do more of that. Rather than worrying about 10 years in the future or worrying about what's going to happen next week, that's what I'm going to concentrate on doing. So less worrying, less stressing. It's going to be difficult, but I'm going to try it. Hair-wise, we're going to lose the blonde. <laughs> um, and do you know what? I'm going to work on my career. I'm going to, and you may think, why? Because I recently, about a year ago, done that this was a perfect role for me. Yes, absolutely it was. But with different things changing, with business changing all the time because of COVID and one thing and another, I kind of hit a wall now in the role I'm in, and it's just not taking me where I want it to go. It's not going to be a quick thing at all, but it's something I want to sort of set myself a bar for 2021. Okay, and I think for me, that's what my year is going to look like. Yeah, I think so. So less stressing, studying, learning, evolving, getting better from this health problem, hopefully getting over um, an operation to, to resolve the, the leg pain and things from a failed hernia repair, which happened a couple of years ago. But we'll leave that as it is. It's on my channel if you'd like to know more, though. Hernia nightmare. Boom. Let's just not go there. <laughs> but I hope that sort of gives you a little bit of an inspiration of what you want your new year to look like. Because yes, 2021, the start of it's going to be difficult for us all around the world, wherever you are. But there are brighter days. There are brighter days. And this will be a thing of the past. It will be. Inevitably, it will be. But literally, don't take risks. Follow guidance. Love your family. And be there for everyone. I try to be. I absolutely try to be. I really, really do. My last day finishing from work, um, I was I was due to be signing off. And I think this was about half past three. And one of my colleagues uh, wished me a Merry Christmas and um, I could tell that they weren't very, they, there was something there. You know, when you know someone, um, and I don't know them particularly well, of course, only after knowing them a year, um, being in lockdown and one thing or another, but I just knew that this person was not themselves. So I took the time and I actually said, you know what, I meant to be signed off, but you know what, let's help someone. It feels good to help someone. And I actually took an hour and a half to talk through this problem, everything that was on their mind. Some people will not do that for you not for you, with you. But you know what? It felt amazing. It felt amazing to sign off for the holidays to think that actually you made a positive change. That doesn't have to be so drastic or or sort of so cheesy as what sometimes these things can sound like when we talk about them. But just literally make someone's day. It could be as small as making, paying somebody a compliment. It could be as simple as just asking how somebody is. When we all find ourselves in this COVID situation with endless lockdowns and not being able to see one another and things, literally, whether it's your friend, whether it's your grandmother, whether it's your uncle, your cousin, or, or, or a neighbor, literally, if a person doesn't look quite right, how are you? Can literally be the power of good. I hope you've really enjoyed that clip. I certainly have. And on the last note of that, 
let's put COVID aside and I wish you a very, very healthy, prosperous 2021. Happy New Year. And until next time, we see you then. Thanks very much for watching. Bye now.